welcome all of you so thank you so much for all of you to i mean all of you came over at short notice uh, not everybody was informed well in advance so uh, really appreciate you being here uh, we have two eminent personalities from the film industry over here uh, we do not have actors or uh, things like that although shashi ji has been an actor also but uh, they bring to the plate something which is uh behind the scene which not everybody really uh you know is aware of so if i may uh, start with uh, mr sham shaw first um i he has been a film distributor since 1975 has been uh, with, uh i mean interested in the film industry even before that but in 75 he started a film distribution company called shringar films along with his brother so he has uh, had a very uh, strong track record and he is also interested in cor uh, corporatizing the film industry yeah. uh, another um, major the thing in his uh, um uh, you know kitty is uh, that he has uh, kind of mobilized the fame cinemas uh, movement you know the multiplex the dynamics of the multiplex uh, he has been a pioneer so that's mr sham shaw for all of us thank you actually we started much earlier than 1970 my uh, my father was a film financier the first movie we financed was in 1952 I was a kid. I think I was must be five, six years old at the time. So I don't have much knowledge about fifty-two onward. But the first movie which I saw, which I liked it immensely at that time, must be at the age of five or six, which I repeated again and again as I kept on going up. The movie was Dida, Dilip Kumar, Nargis, and Ashok Kumar. Kumar. So. First screening, so you don't know, but I only liked because hero's name was Sham, <laughs> so it struck with me. My reason for coming here is two. One is that uh, production, you know, both uh, the promoters of this promote new art, uh, new artists. So this is something which uh, not many people do. Because uh, everything has become so commercial that uh, mm -hmm. wherever you get more money, mm -hmm. uh, wherever you have more exposure, you go for it. Uh, but because uh, I I come from a very small place uh, in Haryana called Bhiwani, mm -hmm. and uh, I did my graduation from there, and I come from a family of educationists. Uh, so my father was in education, and I wanted to be an actor. So, dreaming actor, vegan, vegan, becoming an actor there is like people laugh at you. Mm -hmm. you know, what do you think you are? You know, mm -hmm. becoming an actor. But I had a great ambition, and at uh, one time, when my father realized that yeah, he wants to be an actor, then he says, uh, "I will only let you go to movies if you go to film institute of Pune, yeah. which is FTI, yeah. and uh, that was that still is 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 the best institution." Mm -hmm. In the country, and competition was very tough. When it, when I applied for for being in the class, there were sixty thousand applicants, and they had to take only ten students. Uh, even now it's tough, but in that time it was more than an IS an IPS competition. Yes. Ten out of sixty. Yes, ten boys and ten girls. What is the ratio? And even in ten boys, two dog, two guys had to be. Either from Nepal or a neighboring country like Bangladesh, because of our relationship with the neighbors. So reservation. So basically, eight seats and sixty thousand people, and we had a first general test uh, exam. You had to score more than sixty percent in that. Then you have a general English, then same on. So um, I had to learn through foes and you know wajdas and all the word right from the beginning because. I was going to an institute which was uh, international, uh, at a very high standard. So I understand that uh, that uh, uh, you know khalish. You know what khalish means? Khalish, you understand? It's a kind of itch. Itch is not really compensated that khalish. Khalish is something very meaty, meaty inside your heart, which makes you want to do something. 
आर्टिस्ट हैव दिस खलीश ऑल ऑफ यू हैव दैट ये ये तो होना ही चाहिए तो मुझे आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ यंगस्टर फील हु वांट्स टू बी इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट सो माय कमिंग हियर इज बिकॉज़ आई एम आई हैव द चांस टू कम्युनिकेट विद पीपल हु लव आर्ट एंड यू एज प्रमोटर्स यू नो मेक इट पॉसिबल सो इट्स अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी uh well so far as art and cinema is concerned you know that uh, they are mirrors of each other because cinema is a very wholesome art painting or any other art limits you to 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 certain format but cinema has a wider wings and uh, because it involves visuals it involves uh, sound it involves music you know you know it's beauty art everything everything design design, design. it is design. it is wholesome it's absolutely wholesome so when you go into cinema uh <coughs> so you 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 have to you have to have the ear eyes and the sensitivity more than anything the sensitivity to capture that so if you can have that then perhaps you make a better film So everybody makes movies some make very good films some make bad films but they make movies but why you say sanjay leela bansali is so good in his visuals he's like a painter so every film maker or every artist like we not just give it to only a direction director even a even an actor is like a painter ask me why why Good question. How? <laughs> Because what happens is you also take that inspiration from life. Yeah. Where does it come? It all somebody paints it on a canvas. Somebody just acts it out yeah. on the screen, makes it its own, <coughs> and makes that experience their own experience, and then portray it. So all the artists are seen. We derive our inspirations from life. from day to day incidents day to day happenings uh social political religious so that's why you have different different kind of art there there have been movements in painting uh, religious movements there have been uh, you know painters who have painted nature very well so there you so who have also gets an impression there are people who have who, are, who convey a lot of political thought through their painting Or, and all human emotions like oh, love and hate and all just just the colors you know so the, the boundary is limitless in art you can go anywhere idea is that your the, your tool to communicate is a canvas your tool to communicate is acting is tool to communicate is direction but we are doing the same thing we are all expressing ourselves expressing our mind expressing our talent the mind gives you a thought and your talent gives us a different kind of a push that's why my film is but different than yours and yours is different because our own experience our own talent understanding of understanding of life make, makes it different so uh, yeah so uh, there is one thing which is a format okay that's the basic when you do a painting there is a basic format yeah. you have to follow you want to be director there is a format you want to be an actor there is a format but the beauty comes that when you create something in between those formats that's where your creativity is i say okay take this shot the man sitting like this on on a staircase It's a normal thing. Any 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 cameraman will capture this, but a good cameraman, a good director, will make the same frame look very different. Why Mona Lisa is different than smile? Like, there are so many beautiful smiles, but how Angelo captured that moment and that smile created a masterpiece. How various people. Have imbibed their own thing from movies to into art 
and how art has influenced the brains. So it is they are interdependent, they are not separate. Right? Biggest example is Hussain. Hamid Hussain is a product of Hindi cinema. He was a man who used to lie on the footpath and watch all these big, big posters. Just big ruins, faces, and he was fascinated. He wanted to paint them. He became a hoarding painter. And from hoarding painter, he he became, you know, the rest is history. I'm of the same. So cinema, it was cinema somewhere. And it, it never died in him. Even when he reached his binacle, he made Kajigamini. Because he saw the images of uh, <coughs> Madhuri Dixit in a movie so many times that his mind worked that, my God, this face, this smile, this charisma can be in hundred things. And the, the picture was a product of that. I have been many fours because I have worn many hats. Not because I wanted to, because it was my, out of my compulsion. I wanted to be an actor. I did not become a very successful actor. So, after doing 15, 20 films, I didn't want to just keep waiting for a role to arrive. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do something. So, I shifted my focus to being a producer director and uh, I in a very early stage I went to television I think we were the very few first people who realized that television is going to be huge I'm talking about way back in the you know, 80s early 80s and then since I was from Haryana I went to regional film first regional film yeah. started regional cinema there so I wanted to do to do work, what do you do? So, opportunities, <coughs> I started creating opportunities to keep myself busy, engaged in the business which I love now, and also money because you need a lot of money to survive. So, I've seen over the years that how a cinema also has evolved. So, that uh, brings me to the point as a film distributor. How do you decide that this film is good or this film is good for distribution or not? How do you make that decision? He's talking about the... See, the movies are made in darkness. You've got to have a... You put on the lights in the sets or you go where to the studios and all. Or outdoors, you need lights. Otherwise, it's a, ball. It's a darkness. You see through the camera, it's darkness. Because you're seeing it through the camera. The same way, the fate of a movie is also dark. <laughs> you don't know. But there has to be something that yeah. makes There is no formula to... as such. Okay, look, if I buy this, it's going to run. If I don't buy this, it, it will not run. You go on the track record of a maker, number one. And secondly, supposing he's a newcomer, then when you sit and talk to him, if you can see how he's presenting a subject to you. To you, because this is my subject. Many times, uh, what happens, you know, like many people come and say, Sir, this is picture that I am making. This is based on this book. So, you can read it. This is my story. I said, no, I, I can never do that. You have to tell me the story. And then, you have, after telling me the story, if I like your plot, then I must know the screenplay. So, little bit, not. I am not saying you give me a thorough narration, but at least I should know how the story is being portrayed on the screen. Now, these are some of the things. The best way to buy a movie is not to invest your money, put in somebody else's <laughs> <laughs> So, what are the changes you have seen? Oh, okay. tremendous. You must have seen a lot. Okay, just before coming here, I was watching an old movie at the office, Barsat of mm -hmm. Nimi. Now, she's singing a song. You know, the exact pose of Nimi is like this. Camera is on her. She is not moving at all. The entire song of three minutes, one pose, not moving here and there. But in today's time, there would be hundred dancers behind. <laughs> cameras, camera would move. There would be different cameras from here, here, top. Just changes. And if you are a, if you are a Manoj Kumar, the camera would be under your table also. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us something interesting. Tell us an anecdote that uh, that you feel is very interesting. I went to see it 
द शूटिंग ऑफ चलते का नाम गाड़ी विच वॉज फाइनेंस बाई माई फादर एंड आई थिंक माई एज वॉज बी अराउंड टेन ईयर्स ऑफ दिस टाइम सो दे वॉज अ वेरी फेमस सॉन्ग इन अंगूरी पाँच रुपये बारह आना वेर किशोर कुमार द हीरो वॉक्स इन टू द हीरोइन हाउस एंड इन अ बेडरूम एक्चुअली सो बिफोर द शॉट कुड एक्चुअली दे कुड शूट सो मधुबाल टोल her assistant could tell everybody to get out of the set so director said only the connected people the cameraman the assistant director said what well. they couldn't tell my father to go out because he was the financier <laughs> so he had to be there if he is there so i had to be there and then the guy comes in and inko bhatta the bachcha hai bachcha madhu bhala was supposed to be wearing a nike in that scene you know. so it was very funny ki inko rehne do ye bachcha <laughs> Yes. so many things like that so there were two uh, good producers in the hindi film industry one was nncp yes. and the other was nccp yes. so we as distributors or the business people used to call nn commercial film maker nccp non commercial film maker nccp <laughs> so non commercial means movie would be good but money will not come in the early 70s through darshan so television limited very very limited and then suddenly in the days we boom came and television came in and full stream uh but now the audience is fragmented you have so much of choice you can go on google you can go anywhere you can go on digital platform what you want you want to see you can get it choices have become immense but since we i deal in television and uh, uh, constantly we have a platform called in television academy which we just had an uh, award function the uh, televise on star which had a rating of 3.5 which is the highest rating of any program of any award in the country till now so what made an award do so well better than ifas and uh, yeah. film fairs for last 5 6 years they are not even you know 20% to what we have been so what we realize is that we have actors of all the platform whether it is color whether it is sony whether it is whatever z and star they all come together and also we try to do the entertainment part very pan indian taste in that ये कोई स्कूल भी उस पे होगा उस पे गुजराती भी होगा मराठी भी है इंक्लूड ऑल द रीजनल सिनेमा आल्सो टीवी नो सिनेमा वी वी नो नॉट सिनेमा टीवी द टेलीविजन टेलीविजन इज ओनली बट आई एम सेइंग फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट सो द टेस्ट ऑफ पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट व्यूइंग इज केटर्ड टू सो नॉट स्टार्टेड डूइंग वेरी वेल व्हिच वाज नॉट आई ओनली गुजराती वाज अ बिग ऑडियंस एंड टेलीविजन व्यूइंग ऑडियंस इज 50% women yes so women whether you are a working woman or you are a housewife they have only one source of entertainment after they work they open television and they watch when we said you start doing prithvi so i went to prithvi to keep sitting who will take us um, and my seniors like nasir and om and all that they also used to just keep sitting and see Then I said, "Yeah, instead of getting a role here and uh, waiting, somebody will give me two hundred fifty. That was the kind of payment days to give for a play. I might as well do something else. So I went into modeling. I made ten thousand rupees in one month. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new. I have, 
am not such a true artist who is only waiting for uh, theater to come. So I, I did Colgate and I did Vigo and something. I made lot of money and I bought a car in six months. So this is what you call is that how do you utilize your uh, talent or whatever asset you have. Everybody has an asset. But the asset has to be practical also. It can't be just uh, notional. We are the artists. Hain, ye painting hai, ye, or, or mein hai, yeah. to do this. We will do this. It doesn't work because you need audience. You need every, everybody needs a larger perspective. So, we will do this. So, Shashi, you have done something very. Uh, Unique where the television industry is concerned, bringing everybody into you know under one umbrella. How did you think of doing that? So it's a very interesting incident. Uh, you come here, I think a lady can't see my. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so what happened? Uh, I had a lot of good relationship. I was I'm I'm, I'm a good uh, what we call it communicator. Uh, I'm a likable person. Funny. Yeah, you are very so, so my communication was my, my forte. So a lot of actors used to love me. Uh, Shatru and Sina were very close to me, and so was Dharminder. They used to promote me also. They were huge stars. So I was like, you know, with them, driving Mercedes with them, and you know, going to big parties. So though I I was not a very famous actor. But people used to know me. Like, he's a big guy. <laughs> he knows the, the big dudes of the <laughs> big big dudes of the industry. So I went to Film Fair Award once, and my wife, I had just gotten married. She is uh, basically she was from America. And nothing to do with cinema. And bred there, you know, brought up there. So they're different thinking. Uh, so the moment we enter, they say, hi, 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 hi. He directed me to the second third row. Behind me was Nina Gupta and Sony Rajdhan, Mahesh Bhatt's wife. Yeah. She was not married to him at that time. Mm. She was an actor, mm. but not a very famous actor. Nor was Nina. Mm. So they said, "Arey, arey, aap kuch television wale bolne." Kuch saathi aajne row ke baad koi television the. So they they started going. Yeah, Anu got very embarrassed. She says, "Why?" What is this guy doing here? Why are they there? Why don't you see? She said, no, no, I have not seen with you. I'll go with him. It looks bad. She, was, she went there. Show finished. We were coming home. And she said, mm, it's so unfair. I said, this is the, how the industry works. The television is not considered as a the big thing. The television actors were there somewhere. It's only big film stars, big producers, big directors. But I think he hit her somewhere. And she kept talking about this is so unfair. Look at America, how big is television? Look at so and so actor. You know, he's so popular. And I watched that because she was watching all those soaps and she had seen the growth of American television. Yeah. And uh, so she would come every morning and you know start discussing. I was not even bothered. I said, Yeah, let it be. Yeah, your friend has okay. Get. So one day, and she used to walk with them on the beach every day. And she says, I will do something for you. And nobody knew what the hell she is thinking, what she wants. <laughs> one day she says, Shashi, I want to do, make an academy. This word was very new to me. I said, what is academy? He says, you know, like you have an academy in America. So I says, so what I'm... So I was new there was an academy, but I really don't know what academy academy meant. The so academy does this, it's this a platform. I let's create a platform for television. What, what, what will you do? What will you tell them? See, you're not understanding it. We, we can do seminar. We must promote. This is a new medium, and this medium must get spotlight. This platform will bring that spotlight. So. It triggered us. Yeah, it's a great thought. Let's see. What year was this? This was uh, 2000. Uh, uh, this was 1999. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, 1999 and 2000, 2001, IT was established. 
इसका मिश्रण है सक्सेस जो है इसे इसे कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ व्हाट यू सिंसली वांट टू डू एंड द प्रैक्टिकलिटी ऑफ इट 